Hello everybody. Welcome to the Saturday Journal. Last week I went to Dallas for a Lindsey Sterling concert. The concert was held at Fair Park. On the day of the concert, I arrived at Fair Park rather early, so I decided to take a walk for a bit. Saw the Texas Fair sign, saw the big Texas Ferris wheel, and there was a butterfly exhibit. I was bored, so I decided to go in. Cost like $12 or something to get in. It was held in this warm enclosure with a lot of plants, and there were lots of butterflies. This is like there was also a honeybee right tree in there, which is like the stuff of nightmares for me. Outside of the butterfly exhibit, there was a garden full of several different types of plants. And there was also a snake exhibit, which was pretty cool to look at. As I was on my way back to the music hall in Fair Park, I was still quite early. So I had to stop by this little museum of natural history, which only cost a dollar to get in, but you had to put it on your debit card because they didn't accept cash. There I saw several stuffed animals. There were some minerals that I didn't film a whole lot of, but I did get some pyrite. And there were some fossils, including this really long lizard. And this really huge ancient alligator skull. Eventually I made my way to the music hall and went to the Lindsey Sterling concert. It was a very good concert. There were parts with magic, comedy, and of course, all of our great music. Of the two concerts I went to last week, this one was actually the better one. The next day I went to the Medieval Times restaurant. They had good food there, but the thing is everybody ate the same thing. Chicken, tomato soup, and bread, corn on the cob, which is not really a medieval food, and some pastries. I was seated in the section of the Red and Yellow Knight. There were some games played beforehand. Jousting rings off of things. 
And then the tournament started. But first he had a dispute battle with another knight. which he won there. And then he took part of the tournament. and actually won the tournament. Now a subplot through the whole evening was another knight came from a distant land to offer the king a gift. The gift was a rider on a horse, which I didn't fill. But this knight said that the king must return a gift to his king, and that gift was to be his daughter. King Carlos was not very impressed with this, so he had the champion knight, red and yellow knight, battle this other knight. All in all, Medieval Times was a really good fun time. I gotta say a word about Dallas traffic before I decide to leave Dallas. I was told all kinds of crazy things about Dallas traffic that they go very fast and the traffic can be horrible. Well, the traffic jams in Dallas were pretty bad, but they're not as bad as LA where you're completely stopped. I Dallas know. traffic actually did keep moving, so I gotta give them credit there. But when it wasn't rush hour, yes, everybody drives pretty crazy in Dallas. And you have to keep up with traffic. In fact, I kind of found myself driving quite aggressively in response to their aggressiveness. 
Driving in Dallas was not fun. Um, well, when I came back to Tulsa, I went to a Black Sabbath concert. It was really cool to see absolute music metal legends in concert. This was their last tour, supposedly. Of course, you know how this goes. Everybody has last tours, and they have more tours after the last tours. Ozzy was supposedly going to retire back in the 90s, and he's still touring. It was a good show, but they didn't play The Wizard or Supernaut, which was kind of disappointing for me, because those are two of my favorite Black Sabbath songs. And really, at the end of the show, I was actually starting to get bored and really kind of wanting to go home. The Lindsey Sterling concert was actually better than Black Sabbath, I think. Anyways, that is my Dallas vacation. What was the last vacation you were on? Leave a comment below.